warm welcome to our presentation of the so-called Vitris machine, our IIoT demonstrator. My name is Lukas Pogoda, and I'm a product manager for industrial communication at Peppel & Fuchs, and I will take over the hardware part of the presentation. The presentation itself will then be together with Jörg Nagel, managing director of Neoception, who will take over the software part. Like mentioned, the Vitris machine is an IIoT demonstrator, so it's not a real IIoT application, but the demonstrator shows us how easy we can transfer data from the sensors in the field level up to the cloud via the different levels. There, the data is displayed in a dashboard and analyzed, for example, in order to create condition-based alarms. The Vitrus machine completely consists out of hardware from Peppel and Fuchs and software from our daughter company, Neoception. So it shows that Peppel and Fuchs is way more than just, just a component supplier for industrial factory automation or process automation. It shows that we as a Peppel and Fuchs group can supply our customers with a complete IIoT portfolio as well as advice during any stage of the implementations of IIoT solutions. Also, this picture we see here only shows a small subset of the complete offering from Peppel and Fuchs. But let's now come to the real hardware concept of the Vitris machine. At first, we have IO-Link devices. This represents sensors which do not have a direct IIoT interface. So these devices somehow need an interface module in order to communicate to a cloud. At this place, the IO-Link master from the ICE2, ICE3 series comes into place. Besides a deterministic field bus protocol like Profinet or Ethernet IP, it also supports the IIoT protocols OPC UA, MQTT, and REST API. And thus, it can collect all the data from the IO-Link sensors in the field level and then communicate it to a higher level edge gateway. This edge gateway then is the last physical border before the cloud level starts. Let's now show you two highlights out of the IO-Link devices. First, the UC18GS ultrasonic sensor, which supports a parameterization of a, a sound lob width as well as an echo suppression directly via IO-Link. And together with the IO-Link masters out of the ICE2, ICE3 series, this can be directly done out of the cloud via OPC UA. So it shows that we have a direct and transparent com communication channel from the cloud down to the sensor level. As second sensor, the new absolute rotary encoder, which, which now besides a parameterization and diagnostic data, can also communicate its process data via IO-Link. Here we can also do a complete condition monitoring. So the sensor can communicate its operating hours, the operating temperature, as well as users can set limits for the operating temperature. So here we can generate automatic alarms, for example, when the temperature is too high or too low. As a second group of sensors besides the sensors which do not have a direct IIoT interface, there are sensors which have an integrated IIoT interface. So these devices do not need an interface module, but can directly communicate with an edge gateway. As an example, we can see here the B40 F190 RFID reader. Also, this device supports a deterministic field bus protocol like Profinet and Ethernet IP. Here is multi-protocol, so both protocols in one device. As well, in parallel, can communicate all the reader's data via the REST API directly to the IT world. And additionally, a web interface makes it very easy to configure the module as well as to monitor the data. Besides those two groups, there's a third group of sensors. We call them complete IIoT sensors. What does complete refer in this context to? So these devices do have a radio-based or wireless IIoT interface, as well as an integrated battery. Thus, these devices can be used completely standalone without the need of any wires. These devices do not even need an edge gateway to communicate to the cloud, but can be connected directly to the cloud. As an example, here the Peppel and Fuchs Wilson, which measures the filling level via ultrasonic technology and communicates this data via LoRaWAN directly to the cloud. As an application, we can think of the smart city. We measure the filling level of garbage containers and then the routing of the garbage trucks is controlled accordingly. I have to admit that the Wilson is not directly built into the Vitrus machine, but it shows us the complete picture of different sensors and how we bring the data up to the cloud. At this part, the hardware ends and the software takes place. Like mentioned at the beginning, for this purpose, I want to hand over to Jörg Nagel, Managing Director of Neoception. So thank you, Lucas, uh, for this 
great introduction. Um, a warm welcome also from my side. I would like to guide you in the next few minutes uh, through the whole process of getting the data somewhere, somewhere into an IT system and then uh, leveraging on the potential of the data. Lucas already uh, spoke about um, how, what kind of sensors uh, we are offering for you and your applications. And there are three possibilities on how to get the sensor data into an IT system. First one is the um, local on-premise solution, where you just use our IO-Link masters, as you can see it here. Um, you connect the sensors and then you have an OPC or A server, which enables you to access the data directly from the IT system. Second possibility you have is you use the same IO-Link master and you make it known to the cloud, or better, you make the cloud service known to the IO-Link master uh, by putting in some credentials into the IO-Link master and uh, hooking it up to the cloud via an MQTT interface. A third option, and this is also something where I'm now referring to the uh, Wilson sensor Lucas Pogodo in introduced before, um, it's, a, it's already a cloud uh, uh, sensor. So it's already a sensor which is communicating via a wireless interface, in this case LoRa, and it's able to directly communicate via the wireless network into an IT system. And therefore you, of course, need to make sure that the, uh, the wireless network and the sensor know each other, you put in some credentials into the sensor, you configure it in a way you like it, your application needs it, and then the data is transferred via the network uh, to, your, to your IT system, to a database and uh, front end, whatever you, you like. How can Neoception um, assist you in this process? Uh, we are coming from the business process. We are coming from the value you want to create for your customers, the business processes. So if you, for example, want to uh, set up a new service for your customers where you do uh, maintenance for your devices, for your machines, then uh, we can enable you to gather all the data which is needed to do the right decisions in your in your day-to-day -day business guide your, your workers, guide your employees, so that they can uh, do an efficient job. So everything we do here is around your product and your offering to your customers. What we can help you out with is we can do the hardware adaptation. So if you have a finalized product and you need to add some communication interfaces like industrial communication interfaces or um, perhaps a wireless uh, communication to your device so that a user can access the device with an app uh, or that it integrates somehow via, like our Wilson sensor, via LoRa network um, into a bigger IT system, uh, we can help you with this adaptation. We also uh, are building the Edge software, which is running somewhere close to your application in the field. This software normally uh, uses data from the, from the product. It computes some aggregates. It uh, perhaps can also already detect some, some failures and then send over the data to a cloud system, for example. As soon as the data is uh, inside the IT or cloud system, uh, we can easily help you to define the processes there, create a mobile application, web front end, whatever your, your user needs to then finally optimize the business processes. What are the competence centers for, of Neoception here? What, where can we help you out? Of course, at the one hand side, we are optimizing the business processes before we digitize them, because then the digitization is much, much easier. Uh, where we feel very comfortable with is all the data processing from raw data from your machines, raw sensor data or raw um, uh, application data out of your, of your devices uh, into business events so that you have not only a, a data stream of a, of a raw sensor value where you cannot find a good meaning out of it or where you cannot optimize the business processes, but you get clean events so that you exactly know what happened there in the field. And this is also very easily integratable into your ERP system or other IT systems like an SAP integration. If it comes to the extension of your products, we are coming into the products with uh, or into the projects with a tested design and blueprint. Um, for example, if you want to integrate wireless uh, communication or industrial communication interfaces, uh, then we have proven to work solutions which we just put to the table and 
this will boost the, the project and uh, we will be able to um, go on fast and get you a working solution very fast. The data within the edge, it needs to somehow be processed so that you can derive these business events. Um, that's also where we come in with uh, universal edge application frameworks so that you um, can directly and with a minimum uh, risk uh, start the development. This is valid for ultra low power, so sensors or devices which are battery powered and somehow uh, energy um, independent up to the high data volume uh, applications where a large set of data needs to be processed before it's transferred into the cloud. If we are talking about the cloud, um, we have uh, standardized components, uh, standardized technologies which easily help you to scale these applications, normally built on Microsoft Azure or SAP Cloud Platform. And um, yeah, if you want it, we can also uh, overtake the operations for these solutions for you so that you have a peace of mind. If we're talking about peace of mind, security is always a topic. Um, our work, our projects are always accompanied by a security work stream where we make sure that your uh, application at the end is, is secure. We also bring in some assets here like a secure gateway infrastructure where you can easily roll out your application into the field and you are able to manage thousands of devices like this. So thank you very much. Uh, if you're interested, uh, drop us please an email, uh, drop us a, a phone call. We are really looking forward to learn about your applications and uh, looking forward to make your product more smart, more connected and boost your business this way.